Nearly a year ago, I started a project at Westfield State University titled 17 Years Boy, images, sounds, and words inspired by the life and death of a young black boy. By design, the painting was destroyed, and not just by me, the artist, 16 other people were invited to take apart this painting, much in the way that I feel that Trayvon Martin's image was destroyed and taken apart. Those sections of painting from the original portrait are being used to form 17 new pieces of work that represent hope and healing, that also commemorate not just Trayvon Martin, but the whole idea of, uh, of black boyhood. It's a commemoration and a celebration of, of black boys and men. And what I've done with this body is reimagined black boys uh, and men perhaps as monarchs and as angels. Somebody wrote on the original canvas of the portrait of Trayvon, you know, you could have been a king, and that kept ringing to me. And so this idea of monarchy and kingship keeps coming into play with this, these works. There are a lot of interplays here. The chorus of cicadas across uh, one of the triptychs and this constant um, underlining of Trayvon Martin's age. 17, they're, they're just about to be men and they're just about to not be boys anymore. And there's something special about that, that age as a moment, like a butterfly coming out of its chrysalis, emerging but not ready to fly just yet. The idea of someone being cut short at that age really bothers me. But in this exhibition, I'm hoping it can also be a celebration of that age and black boyhood.